What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. As always, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It would be greatly appreciated. I had such a good time in the previous episode restoring and refurbishing this 1991 Lamborghini Diablo. So much so, in fact, that we're actually going to do another flip here today rather than doing a boring old story order. Although those do tend to sort of level us up quicker and, and almost unlock things for us faster. I just enjoy the the freedom behind just doing a, a random barn find or, or something along those lines. So having said that, we of course have a barn map location, a barn location map. I don't know why I can't ever just get that into my head, but now that we've sort of selected that one, we're going to be able to fast travel to this here barn for 100 credits and we'll see what we can find here. All right, we have just loaded in. Let's go ahead and make our rounds. See what we can see. This is a older vehicle. I'm gonna guess, hmm, what do I guess on this? Buick? Could be Cadillac as well. It is, okay, Cadillac Sedan DeVille. Not super interested in uh, in flipping one of those. So let's continue making our, is that a Tiburon? Is that a Tiburon with a body kit? Oh my god, as if it couldn't get any worse, dude. That is just terrible. You hate to see it, dude. 2003 Hyundai Tiburon, just collecting dust. Ooh, what, what do we got back there? What do we got back there? All right, how do we how do we get over there, dude? Sometimes these barns are such a maze. I think if we just go around this way. Here we go. Okie dokie. This barn absolutely sucks, dude. Absolutely sucks. So I'm gonna go around each junk pile, see if I can't maybe find a case, and we'll return to the garage and try again. Now that we're back at home, let's go ahead and crack open this case. We'll see what we get. It'd be great if we could get a replacement barn map from that. Hey, look at that. There's one. We didn't get the double, but that's okay. A few more scrap points, always good. And now it's like nothing ever happened. We have a brand new barn map to use. And we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and make our way over there. Got a little bit better feelings here. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay, I believe this is a Porsche 911 RS. Maybe? I'm not sure on the year. Honestly, they don't really change that much. Porsches, they all kind of look the same. Okay, 1993 Porsche 911 RS America or a 964. It would be the bee's knees if we could afford it. Oh my god, we can just barely afford it. Do we buy it, dude? We might actually be walking out of here with a Porsche. We're not gonna have a whole lot of money left over to really do anything to it if we do pick it up, but it doesn't look like it's in terrible condition. Oh, hang on. We got some uh, some bacon side skirt over here again. Love to see that, especially on a, a Porsche like this. The roof has seen better days. It looks like someone's trying to mold the roof into like a like a cowboy hat. Not sure what's going on there. Let's let's at least look around a little bit more. See what else we can find in here. I already don't like the look of that. It is a hatchback. I know it's a hatchback, but I'm pretty sure it's a Ford Fiesta. Nope, Opel Corsa. Basically a Ford Fiesta. There's got to be one more. Okay, back here we have a Datsun, a Nissan Fairlady Z, the S30. I'm not. Uh... I'm not a huge fan of these, although they are cool. If we were to buy this one, we'd probably have enough money to actually, you know, fix it up, make it look nice again. But the Porsche, dude, the Porsche is calling us. I'm gonna quickly go through and just examine everything on the vehicle just to give myself a little bit more peace of mind if we are gonna end up purchasing this thing. Well, it's certainly rough. I can't say for certain whether or not we're gonna be able to remove a lot of these parts and actually repair them. I'm Pretty sure most of them are just too far gone, so we'll likely be purchasing brand new stuff if we if we want to go through the trouble of, of repairing it, which I'm pretty sure I do. So let's get her on home, dude. Let's bring her on home. 50,000 big ones right here. Go ahead and make the purchase, and we're going to bring her back to the garage. Before we leave, though, I got to find another case just to make the trip that much that much more worth it. Back at the garage with the goods, dude. Let's check this thing out. I can't tell if it's green or if it's like a desert tan color. Let's see what the factory color is. Blue? Uh, it hasn't been blue for a while. I'm gonna be honest. Not even like the, the underside. Granted, it's pretty dirty right now. Like door jams and stuff. I don't see any blue. It honestly looks like the whole thing's just tan. 
So obviously the first thing we need to do here is get her moved over to the car wash straight away so we can see what color it actually is. Go ahead and wash away the years of rot and, and grime and gross stuff. Oh, it is blue. Weird, dude. This thing had been sitting for so long that it was it was literally beige. But now we can see it looks like it has a brand new driver's side door. Must have got that from some salvage yard. Oh my god, dude. This, this bacon side skirt over here and the roof is just driving me nuts. It is actually driving me crazy. Let's go ahead and, and detail the interior before we move it back into the garage. So obviously the vehicle doesn't run and we now only have $4,000 left to, you know, put back into it. The next thing I want to do is actually just break out the welder and see if we can't repair that bacon side skirt and the, the whole roof and everything. It's just, it's not a good look for the Porsche. $2,200. That's a little bit more than half of what we have. But you know what? We just, we got to bite the bullet on something like that and just take care of it. That looks miles better already. So we're now down to $1,900. I'm going to go around now and just remove every single body panel on this thing. We're going to see what all we can actually replace or repair. I mean, we're going to head on into the workshop over here and let's see just how far we can get with only $1,900 left. It seems like a few of these pieces we're going to be able to repair. Looks like most of the body is repairable. Stuff like headlights and taillights, you know, that windows, all that sort of stuff that can never be repaired. But we'll go through this whole list and see if we can salvage anything. Okay, now down to $1,100. Let's go ahead and get everything that we've been able to repair back mounted on the vehicle. I think for the most part, I was able to salvage everything. Again, just sort of missing the, the windows, headlights, taillights, stuff like that. Not a huge deal, but that green door, dude, that green door was like 98%. It was almost mint condition. And I think we were able to salvage both of the mirrors. Just double check that really quick. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna make my way into the store. We'll grab two license plates, try to get all the glass, unless the glass is obviously in, in good condition, then there's no reason to buy brand new. And then we'll do taillights, headlights, and I think we'll be done on the exterior for now. I might have made an oopsie and accidentally sold the driver's side windows and the passenger side windows. So we have everything else on the body except for those four things. And of course, now we only have 95 credits left. So I think now we're going to open the case and just cross our fingers that we maybe get some, some extra credits, right? That would definitely help us out right now. Bonus case, can't beat that. Well, you could, but that'd be weird. There's our bonus credits. All right, let's open up the next case, dude. Fingers crossed again. Can we get some bonus credits? Bonus scrap. Okay, not what I was after. Please, 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 please. At least a case, even, a, even another barn map. I'd be so down for another barn map, actually. Bonus credits. There it is. There it is. We love to see it. All right. So that's going to put us up 1,600 buckaroonies. Let's try to purchase the remaining glass. And with 900 bucks to spare, dude. That's how it's done. That is how it's done right there. We have the entire exterior of this vehicle now. Should be 100% complete. You guys can see even the frame condition is now 100% as well, thanks to our handy dandy welder. Now, unfortunately, sitting at 966 credits, we're just a little bit shy of being able to take this thing into the, the paint shop and actually spray it all the factory color once again. So we got to maybe get a little creative here. We got to figure out some way for us to get a little bit more money without, you know, taking hours to do a, a story order or something along those lines. So let's just check through our orders, see if we have something that's, that's maybe a little bit faster than the other options. You've got to be kidding me, dude. Usually, usually when I check on the repair orders, we'll have one vehicle out of, out of the list of them. That'll be like, oh yeah, I, I just uh, ran over a pothole or something. I just need a new spring. Just hook me up with a new spring. But most of those, I mean, there's, there's multiple things wrong with these vehicles. It's not something as simple as swapping out a spring for them real quick. So I don't think that's a, a real option for us today. So instead, what I'd like to do now is actually focus in on the engine. Oh God, this thing has seen better days, dude. I didn't realize how rusty it was in the barn. They do a really good job at making sure those barns are Pretty, uh, pretty well dark. You're not going to see a whole lot of anything. 
Can't use the fuel pressure tester, so we probably can't use the compression tester either. Let's try OBD scanner. Of course, that's not going to work, right? Tread depth tester, though, that's going to work. One of these tires is like 0%. It's got to be. The uh, driver's side rear tire. Oh, it's not 0%. Look at this thing, dude. It's bald. This thing is literally bald compared to all the other ones. I guess they're saying it's still got some life left in her. So we've used the tread depth tester and learned nothing. Let's try the multimeter. We'll see if at least all the fuses and relays and stuff are in order. I'm going to throw out a wild guess now that we finish that, that this vehicle is missing the fuel pump. It's got to be, dude. They always are. Barn finds, junkyard finds. They're always missing the fuel pump. There it is again. Oh, wow. This thing's actually missing quite a bit in the front and in the rear. Missing a starter. Okay, so that's probably why we have a no start uh, condition right now. Let's just go through and mark what's missing up front. E even don't have a battery. We don't even have a battery, dude. No oil filter, no power steering reservoir. Uh, looks like we're missing a fuel rail right there. An entire exhaust section. Uh, timing covers. Yeah, this thing's definitely a little more worse off than I originally thought, but it's no big deal. Let's see if we can purchase any of these parts with only $900 left over. Well, we didn't get very far, as we expected. Still missing the fuse box cover over here. ABS module still missing the starter still missing the big uh, exhaust manifold just around the backside and the two timing covers i think once we get all that stuff replaced we should at least be able to start the thing and just see what else is wrong with it but we now only have 50 credits left over so we're gonna check our orders once again and finally dude see this is the one or the honda civic oh see that says other tasks that's they're being tricky they're being real tricky on that one let's take on this bmw 5 series it looks like and we'll uh we'll try to help them with their suspension rattling starting off in the front of the vehicle looks like a lower control arm that's probably gonna need replaced go ahead and yoink that out of there real quick Moving around to the back, we have a rear shock absorber. Get that marked and yoink him out. Check passenger side rear, that's looking okay. Passenger side front, also looking okay. Shock absorber cap though, on this side is definitely dusted. What about this one? That one is fine. So this one's gonna be a little bit more involved than the ones that I've done in the past, just because we do have to sort of dismount the shock absorber assembly and now we'll have to take it over to our spring puller so we can get the pieces all separated. That way we can buy a new top hat or maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to, to repair that one. I doubt it. Yeah, 10%, not a chance. So with the very, very limited budget that we have, we need a front shock absorber cap, which is usually 65 credits. And we only have a 15% discount, so we're only going to be able to get it for 55. Wait a minute, though. Hold the phone. I remember we should have a new ability to purchase. Oh, there it is. Okay, but we can't do this one, which is the one that I wanted. Actually, that one doesn't even help us out with the parts pricing anyway, so doesn't matter. We'll just go ahead and unlock increased screwing speed by 55%. There it is. One of you did also let me know that they now have a window tint tool. I haven't been able to purchase it yet because, you know, we kind of have no money right now. But I am really keen on hopefully checking that out sometime soon. Maybe the, the Porsche or the Lamborghini will be the first car that will end up tinting. I'm going to go ahead and sell the brand new battery that we purchased for the Porsche just so we can have a little bit of money to finish the BMW 5 series over here. So let's hop back into the store. We'll grab ourselves that front shock absorber cap and at least get that piece done. I forget just how much more difficult this game can be when you have no money. Like it's it's the worst feeling ever. Actually, should we sell these? We probably should sell these rather than trying to, you know, take them to the, the scrap bin in the back. Let's get a little bit of money back. We'll get that new shock absorber mounted up in the front. Make sure we reconnect that front sway bar end link right there. And then we'll get the wheel put back on for them. Okay, next on the 5 Series, lower suspension arm. That is a pricey boy right there. 127 so obviously can't afford that. What about rear shock absorber? That one we can purchase. There we go. Now that we bought a brand new one, we'll sell the old one. That's only going to give us four 
credits though. And we're gonna have to hang on to the rubber bushings because we'll need those for that lower control arm. Oh God, dude, oh God. So what, now we have to take on another car but then we're not gonna have enough money to buy new parts to repair that car. So it's, it's almost gotta be a vehicle that we can repair rather than replace. Wow, this sucks. <laughs> this sucks, dude. I'm basically just digging our grave right now. We're gonna go bankrupt in no time. And I'm not selling the Lamborghini. I know there's probably a handful of you screaming at your screen right now. I'm not selling it, all right? I just, I just can't, even though we'll make a killing on it. I think it's probably best if we just hang on to her. All right, I'm trying to think here. Trying to think what we can possibly ditch to, you know, get a little bit of money so we can at least repair the 5 Series. So I'm thinking, let's just go ahead and remove these uh, these wheels on the Porsche. Because honestly, I'll, I'll probably be buying them either brand new or just changing them out for something completely different. You know, not the, not the factory option rim anyways. So we're going to take all four of these over to the tire machine, get the tires pulled off of them, and then we'll see if we can repair the rims. And at that point, it might be in our best interest to just sell them. Even if we can't repair them, it's probably just best to, to get rid of them, get a little bit of our money back in our pocket. I'm going to sell off the tires first, but I'm actually going to write down the factory tire sizes just in case we want to go back to that for whatever reason. So we got a 235, 40, uh, 18. I believe that's going to be in the front. And then a 265, 35, 18. That'll be the rear. And all four of them are the Vintage Tire B. So I'm going to sell these first just so hopefully we'll be able to you know do something now we have 139 credits i don't remember how much that lower control arm costs 150 oh 127 with the discount though i forgot about that okay nice dude this is good this is looking much much better for us now we may actually be able to complete this bmw and uh of course the customer will hopefully pay us for our work so it won't be long now, but we're gonna have more than 12 credits to our name. Oh no, there's another part that hasn't been discovered. Oh, please God, why? Time for the test path then. It's the only other option, really. The BMW, dude, the 5 Series, sounding kind of spicy in a, good, in a good way. Like, honest to God, this is probably one of the better sounding exhaust notes that we've heard in, uh, in CMS 21 thus far. Anxious to hear what the Porsche is gonna sound like though. A small rubber bushing, there it is, dude. The bane of my existence. I also, I kind of respect the livery. You know, they were they were really trying to make it look like a like an M edition. Obviously it's not, it's just a base model five series, but it's, it's still a nice car. We'll get this thing moved over to car lifter B this time. It's the first time I've ever said car lifter B, I'm pretty sure. Let's highlight that small rubber bushing and we'll see where it's at. Oh no, there's another part. Why are you doing this to me? Why do you hate me so much? This was supposed to be an easy job. There it is, the little bugger. So we're gonna get this thing yoinked out as well. And then we just got one final part to try to find. At least rubber bushings are cheap enough. That's that's only half of our total credits right there at, at six. So with the new rubber bushing installed. Oh, dude, we're gonna get a bonus of 25% XP. Why can't that be credits? That's what we really need right now. God dang it. But with the small rubber bushing now installed, I think what I'm gonna do next is actually take the vehicle to the test track because that's really the only other option we have at the moment. We've even got a little warning here beforehand. Wheels are not aligned. Car may drive in an odd way. Well, that's all right, right? Could be worse. Let's see what we're working with here with the five series, dude. So we got the slalom test the acceleration test, the suspension test, and lastly, oh wow, this thing's pretty agile. Lastly, the brakes test. Honestly, this is pretty smooth, all things considered. Oh, no, 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 brakes don't work though. Almost smacked the wall. Brakes do not work hardly at all. We haven't even gotten to the brakes test yet. Jesus Christ. All right, slower down just before and there. We go. I got a good feeling about this, dudes and dudettes. I got a good feeling about this that'll hopefully tell us exactly what we're missing. And the moment of truth. What is the verdict? A wheel hub bearing. Honestly, that was my next idea. 
not let's get this thing highlighted get her ripped out of there and get her replaced dude i'm so ready so ready girl and now the big question is how much does a wheel hub bearing cost 12 credits which is 10 credits with our 15 percent discount god dang it we only have six left dude hang on can we sell some stuff though Sure we can. We have the lower suspension arm right there. That's eight more credits. We have the old wheel hub bearing. Get rid of that. The original rubber bushing. Get out of town. Now we have 16 and we'll be able to purchase a new wheel hub bearing. We're down to six credits again, dude. But after we get this wheel put back on, we'll be able to say sayonara and we'll see how much money we actually made from doing this quick job, quick and easy job with a bonus of 25% XP for 450. We only got $400 from that, dude? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? For real? All that work, all that time, all that energy, all that effort for 400 and some odd dollars. That is not worth it. Definitely not worth it. I guess the XP bonus is nice. So since we have four RS rims in our inventory, I'm gonna take those into here. And it looks like we can actually repair them. So I'm gonna do the very, very best I can here. Try to see if we can't get them all in working condition again. It's not like they're not gonna roll well if they're just a little rusty and, and old. Locked? What do you mean? What do you mean locked? Oh, locked because I have no more money. I was not paying attention to how much it costs to repair those. Now we have two 100% rims and two 50 to 60% rims for the Porsche. Yikes, dude. Yikes. What is this episode? What is this episode? No, honestly, I'm pretty happy because we now have a beautiful Porsche 911, the exact year that I was after and everything. And in addition to that, I mean, no complaints from us. We still have a Lamborghini Diablo. So, I mean, doesn't get much better than that, right? In all honesty, I do think I'm probably going to wind down this episode here because apparently we need to do a little bit of off-camera grinding, make up some of our funds that we've lost today. Having said that, though, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.